Don't you guys hate it whenever YouTubers make a 10 minute video to tell you something they can do in three minutes? Me too, so watch 15 more seconds of my intro. Let's get down to business to level up. Six ways for you to level up fast in Fortnite without buying tiers. Starting off at the top, number six, simply enough, your daily quests. Um, even if you don't have any challenges with the battle pass, if you do not have the battle pass, your daily quests, you can do them every single day. That's why they're called daily quests. Now you can stack up, let's say you go on a three day vacation, you can stack up your daily quests up to three days, knock them all out. You can only stack up a total of three daily quests. But honestly, you're gonna be wanting to log in every single day and get that daily quest done. It's gonna give you 500 experience points. And if you're not logging in every single day, then you're really not looking at this video for the right reasons because the, the best way to level up fast is to play every single day for sure. So yeah, number six, knock out those daily quests. I know they're like submachine gun eliminations, assault rifle eliminations, or surviving people in solo or in squads, doing all the eliminations, whatever you have to do, it's an extra 500 experience points and it does help you out. The fifth way for you to level up fast in Fortnite is through killing people. Um, this is actually, honestly, the least effective way. Um, you, if you get one elimination a game, um, you will get 50 experience points for that first elimination. Now, if you get uh, many much more after that, for every kill you get after that first one, it's 15 experience points per kill. So I believe your first kill you get 50 and already 15. Okay, so that's math is 65. But if that's all you do that game, then you're only gonna get 65 experience points. Um, you're gonna have to get a jack ton of kills to start racking up the experience points. Uh, that's a lot. You're looking at 30 kills to get that 500 experience points that you would get from tip number six, which was just doing the daily quests. I believe that Fortnite should really amp up the experience points for killing because then it would actually cause you to want to get more kills rather than just sitting in a bush the entire game. Now, if you are fortunate enough to save up enough V-Bucks or you've stolen your mom's credit card to get the battle pass, the number four way for you to level up fast in Fortnite is through the battle pass. Every single time you complete one of the extra weekly challenges and daily challenges, you're gonna be rewarded with more and more experience points and as you tier up, you'll get experience points inside of there. When you're doing these battle pass challenges, I believe they give you somewhere around 5,000 experience points every single time you complete one of them. Some of them are much more difficult, like if you have to go and find 400 rubber duckies somewhere, that's gonna take you a little bit longer. But a lot of them are simple, like get a grenade kill. Also, along with those weekly challenges, the battle pass actually gives you um, bonus experience points, 50%, 60%, all the way up to 120% experience points bonus whenever you kill people or whatever the other things you do in the game, it's gonna actually um, give you percentage extra in there. So having the battle pass is the number four way for you to level up fast. And the battle pass will cost you like what, 10 bucks? So go ahead, steal your mom's credit card. Just don't tell her that I told you to do that. Say that you were holding it for a friend. The number three way to level up fast in Fortnite is also gonna go back to number four with the battle pass. It's having a squad of all of your friends all playing with the battle pass because when your friends all have the battle pass and you have the battle pass, you are kind of like doing this trickle down effect where they're getting extra bonus experience points and it's actually coming over to you. And it's like, you're just blessing each other. You know, they're, they're giving you some and you're receiving, you're giving some and they're receiving. So it's this whole idea of getting extra percentage of, of bonus experience points coming through because you've got friends. It's one of Fortnite and Epic Games way of encouraging people to spend money on the game because if you buy those, uh, the battle pass for 10 bucks or whatever it is and you've got the experience points and your buddies have the experience points then you all collectively together are going to have more fun because you're experiencing the game faster through leveling up and getting more experience points together as a squad i personally am always looking for more people to play with that actually have the battle pass because of this reason so if you guys want to you can look me up my epic games account is liquid plays yt and in the comments below guys why don't you share what your epic gamer tag is is so that we can all get together and play together and if you guys don't have any battle pass friends then put it in the comments below that hey i've got the battle pass and i have got two solo wins and i've got in 500 games but only two solo wins and whatever your account name is so that other people can join in with you and you guys get that percentage bonus of squatting up with battle pass comment in the below section down there write your epic games username do it. This brings us down to number two, the number two way 
for you to level up fast in Fortnite is actually through your placement. So if you jump into a game and you get eliminated in the first five seconds inside of Tilted Towers because you thought it would be fun to land there and maybe get 16 kills, you're not gonna get a lot of placement. Actually, you're gonna get around 17 experience points for placement. Now in the solo rounds, if you come in and at least top 10, you're gonna grab 100 experience points for that placement. Top five is also going to be 100 points per placement. Now the real jewels and beauties is gonna be that second place is gonna give you 200 experience points for placement. And of course, winning the game is gonna give you 300 experience points just for placing in first place. Guys, seriously, if you love these tips and how I'm throwing them out there quickly and I don't take 20 minutes to give you every single thing you need to know about leveling up and doing these things inside of Black Ops 4 and inside of Fortnite or whatever game I play, think about liking the video, commenting and stuff, all that jazz, but seriously, subscribe and turn on all notifications so you guys can help me out in my channel. YouTube's really, really jacked up where you could subscribe but not even turn on the bell and never get to see any of my videos. I've got over 2,000 subs at the point of making this video, but I get like 20 views a video because I stink. So yeah, there's my um, shameless plug for you to subscribe to my channel. Now on to the number one way for you to level up in Fortnite fast, survive. Number one, you gotta survive. Stop landing in a crazy, crazy crowded place and tilted towers and getting one kill and then getting shotgun double pumped to the face and getting 17 experience points and 50 elimination experience points because you killed one person. Seriously, most of the time, even if I don't come in first or second place, I will last towards the end of the game because I'm trying to level up fast just to unlock my Omega without having to pay a jack ton of money. So what I do is I just kind of travel around the map the entire time, hang out to where I'm gonna come down to like top one, two or three, and then I kind of join in the fights. I know it's a noob tactic and it might be low and stuff, but right now Fortnite is rewarding me for doing that. Seriously, waiting around to the end of the game and coming in second or third or fourth place will give me around 230 to 250 experience points just for surviving that long. I did the math up and with you getting one kill and then adding the 50 experience points there and then the 15 experience points per kill after that, you're gonna need around 15 to 16 kills per game before you survive that long just to make as much experience points through kills as you would have just camping in a bush. So right now, until Fortnite and Epic Games fix this whole thing, I'm gonna exploit it and I'm gonna run around the map and storm surf at the edge of everything as long as I can to level up fast. So yeah, if you can get a whole squad together of your friends that all have the battle pass and all are okay with camping out in the corners of the very, very back of the map and surfing the storm as much as they can and not getting any kills and waiting till the end of the game and then coming in second or third place, you're looking at a jack ton of experience points because again, you're getting the percentages of all of your battle passes combined. You're getting the experience of coming in second, third, fourth, and maybe, hey, getting that squad W, getting that first place 300 experience points placement and all of the survival time on top of all of that, again, multiplied with all your battle pass percentages. I probably already said that, but all that right there, that's the creme de la creme. Sure, maybe kill some people, I don't know, but the, the, the dangers in that is if you die and you've been in the game for three minutes, then you're only gonna get like 20 experience points for your survival time and you're not gonna get anything for placement. Well, we'll see if this video gets 5,000 views because it's a quick and easy how-to video on how to level up fast in Fortnite. Again, if you guys like these videos and you think I'm an idiot, um, then maybe subscribe. If you don't like my videos, then just simply do nothing. With all that said, guys, remember, don't follow your dreams, follow my YouTube. I think that was a good video. I hope so.